In this video, we'll balance the equation NO plus CO yields N2 plus CO2. Let's count the atoms up. We have one nitrogen, and then we have one oxygen plus this oxygen here. So we have two oxygens, and then we have the one carbon. On the product side, two nitrogens, two oxygens, and one carbon. Let's see. It looks like the nitrogens, really, that's what we need to balance, and we're going to have to put a coefficient of two in front of the NO. So one times two, that would balance the nitrogens. And next, let's update our oxygens. So we have the one oxygen times the two, that's two, plus we have this one oxygen here. So we have three oxygens now. So this is kind of difficult. Everything's balanced except the oxygens, and I have an odd number. When I get an odd number like this, I really like to make that into an even number. So if I were to put a two in front of the CO, I'd have the one times two, two oxygens, plus the one times the two, that would give me four oxygens and I could fix the oxygens. So I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'll put a two in front of the CO, one times two, that'll give me two carbons, but now my oxygens, I can fix those. I have one times two, the two plus one oxygen times two, two. So I have four oxygens and now it's pretty easy to fix the oxygens on the reactant side because I could just put a coefficient of two here, two times two, that give me four oxygens. So the oxygens are balanced. Two applies to everything. One times two for the carbon. And it just happens that that works out. Now the carbons are balanced. That makes this the balanced equation for NO plus CO yields N2 plus CO2. The trick here, I think, is when you had that odd number of oxygens, if you get that to an even number, that'll allow you to balance the oxygens. And everything else just seemed to fall in place. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.